to be attending the funeral of uh, Private Nathan Buse, who was cu killed earlier this month in Afghanistan by a, a roadside bomb. The 17th fatality in that nine-year conflict. We're crossing now to Laura Jays, who is in Mwulambar for the funeral of Private Buse. Laura, a sombre day uh, in our nation's two uh, leaders amidst the political fray, putting that to one side today to pay their respects. They sure are, Karen. As you can see, the sun has just risen over the Sacred Heart Church here in the main street of Mwollumbar. Uh, road workers already out this morning preparing for the funeral of Private Nathan Buse. The roads have been cordoned off in preparation. Now, we are expecting uh, hundreds of people to come here today to pay their respects uh, from Mwollumbar, but also from across Australia. As you mentioned, uh, both the leaders will be here in attendance today, along with uh, Air Chief Marshal Angus Houston and also the Premier um, of New South Wales, Christina Keneally. Now, Private Buse was killed by a roadside bomb in Afghanistan earlier this month. He was on patrol in the Aruzgan province uh, when an IED exploded just before midnight on the 9th of July. But friends and family say that the 23-year-old Nathan Buse was uh, a career soldier. He was dedicated to the army and uh, he, had, uh, he was a very courageous and uh, they will remember him as such today. Laura Jays, thank you very much uh, for that. As I mentioned, it